Yo, what is up gamers? It is your boy Chris here, aka Chris at Gamer. Today guys, I'm bringing you the ultimate guide for 1v1s in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I love this series guys and I basically want to give back and try to give you guys the best tips on how to become a better player when you're trying to play 1v1s in Black Ops 3. So first off, the most thing that I've noticed in 1v1s in any Call of Duty is that it is super timing. Timing can be your best friend or it could be your enemy, which is why, especially in a Treyarch game, which is loved for three lane maps, you have to make sure that when you are pre-aiming something, you just know when to give it up. I still don't even have this down because at the end of the day, timing could happen at any moment. When I'm pre-aiming something, I'm usually thinking in the back of my head like, this guy could come as soon as I turn around, so I don't care if I lose a round, I'm just going to continue pre-aiming. You just literally need to always be thinking five steps ahead of your opponent. So the first thing you basically want to think about before even playing 1v1s in this game is which specialist you're going to be using. In this gameplay, you guys are going to be seeing that I'm going to be running with the Psychosis just because of the fact that it's a 1v1 I would like to bait and switch something and I could use my drones as my bait and basically use them to my advantage if I basically were to call in my psychosis and my opponent sees one of them he's probably gonna think one of them is me he's gonna start shooting at him and then I now know where my opponent is figure out which one is your best friend which specialist you enjoy using the most use that to your advantage and understand how your ability actually works the next tip is your score streaks obviously in this gameplay you guys are going to be wondering why am i not using the acxd and i actually forgot to put the acxd on but i can actually argue the fact that using the acxd is putting you in a disadvantage once you call that bad boy in your opponent now knows that you are somewhat in your spawn you're laying down or you're camping somewhere calling this in and you are very vulnerable so all they have to do is push your spawn and try to figure out where exactly are you which is why sometimes the acxd could be your worst friend it could definitely make you die instead of helping you especially if you were to get a hit marker so obviously use the score streaks that you think will help you in this gameplay i am able to acquire my two first score streaks and definitely that is something useful if you are to get a lightning strike in search and destroy that is your best friend that is basically your own miniature uav that you can use once to figure out where your opponent is on the map and you guys are going to see me use that to my advantage next off is the weapon choice obviously everybody's going to have their own type of weapon that they enjoy using their favorite weapon but if you're playing competitive call of duty the go-to weapons for the assault rifle is the m8 then it is the man of war and then possibly the XR2, hands down the best weapons, the M8 just melts, and then obviously for the submachine guns, you're not going to see any other sub other than the Vesper. This guy tried to use the Pharaoh on me once, and I just absolutely destroyed him just because of the fact that, come on man, it's the Vesper. You have no idea what you're doing if you're not using the Vesper, this gun just melts left and right right and left you just have to make sure that you're using the submachine gun that is the best weapon and the next tip that i can go ahead and give you guys is keeping your composure in this game i went down 0-2 just because of the fact that i was not playing 1v1s how 1v1s are supposed to be played i always play with a team i always play with my friends so sometimes i get into this turtle mode where oh i feel like i'm playing with teammates when i'm playing a 1v1 which is what i was doing on those two rounds that i lost so you need to make sure that you remember like hey this is a 1v1 i can't be pushing through his spawn because he could come from anywhere he could come from mid he could be behind me he could literally be anywhere when you're pushing something like that in his spawn when you're playing 1v1s you do gotta play more of a campy role you definitely do have to make sure that you're not always moving so much because every single time you move you give your opponent another chance to possibly sneak up on you and get the best timing on you in the game now you guys are probably gonna wonder why why do you save your specialists? Should you use them as soon as you get them? And obviously the answer to that is no. You got to know when the moment is right to use them. In this gameplay, while I was playing the bomb and I was super close to getting my streaks, I went ahead and called in my psychosis because I personally did not want to die off the bomb when I was 50 points away from getting two of my score streaks. So I call in my psychosis to make sure that I basically get those two score streaks because of the fact that now 
I know he will be pushing me if one of those drones get shot. So that's something that you guys have to think about. And then when I go ahead and ping my lightning, I know that my opponent is somewhere around A. So I basically go ahead and push the A bomb, but my opponent basically tried to glitch away and definitely did fail the glitch. And that shows you, you got to know which specialist is your best friend. The glitch is an amazing specialist, but it will glitch you somewhere that you have no idea where you were those five steps before you glitch. Now overall, you need to make sure that you're always watching yourself. You're always looking at what type of player you are and watching your theater to see why you're losing and things of that nature. It's something I see a lot of new players do. They do not look at their minimap. Your minimap is your best friend. You could literally do so many things with your minimap, guys. Obviously, it's 1v1, so it's kind of hard to figure out why the minimap would be your best friend. But just know that wherever you plant the bomb, you can usually use that line of sight to see the bomb. And if somebody plants the bomb in front of the bomb, they're usually going to be wanting the bomb somewhere on the front side of it. But they could also be using that to get in your head. They could be on the other side of the map where you're checking the front side of the bomb because you believe that's where he's camping at. Well, there you guys have it. This is the ultimate guide for 1v1s in Black Ops 3. At the end of the day, Search or Destroy is all time. And you definitely want to try to use this to your advantage. Just make sure that you are focusing on your accuracy. You're focusing on keeping composure. And you're focusing on watching your theater to figure out why you're losing certain rounds. When you know why you lost a round, that is the best because you get to fix that issue since you know what caused it hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to like the video subscribe for more call of duty content and make sure to come back on the channel tomorrow i'm going to be having tons of awakening dlc videos out so you definitely do not want to miss that i'll see you guys next time peace out